Welcome to this tutorial on using Node.js to deploy Dali 2 for a React Native app. If you're familiar with OpenAI, you know they are the creators of some of the most advanced natural language processing technologies. An example of this is Dali 2, an image generation API which developers can use on their apps. Previously, I created a tutorial on how to integrate Dali 2 to a React Native app and that was using React Native and Dali 2 API only, no backend. While this method works, it's not the most recommended way of actually deploying OpenAI Dali 2 on a React Native app. The recommended method is to use a backend. That is what we're going to do today. Since we're using Node.js, we have to initialize the Node.js app by saying npm init dash y. Then after that, you have to install dependencies. You have to run the following necessary dependencies, npn, i, express, openai, and .env. Those are the main dependencies that we're gonna use. But we, you also need uh, the necessary dev dependency, which is nodemon. So for that, you're gonna say npm, i, dash d, uh, for dev dependency, nodemon. So you can install that. And then you have to go to your package.json and change or add the following scripts to your package.json. So basically for start, you need to add node index.js and then dev gonna be using node one. Cool. Um, when you finish with that, just go to OpenAI, the website and grab your API keys there. So these are found under beta openai.com account slash api keys and then you also have to grab the organization id as well there and then all of this you're gonna put in a new file which is the .m file on your on the root of your project so we're done you can just simply then create an index.js file um and then put a console log there of like we are live or something like that and then say npm run start just to see if it works but for me i'm just going to go directly to the code so under index index.js what you will see now is that um we set up a basic node server that listens for incoming calls on a specified port uh and then sends them to the open ai root defined under roots open ai roots file so that we still have to create so the server uses the express library to simplify the process of building the web applications and the dot env library we use it to uh for the configuration setting for the our environmental keys which are stored under the dot env file so this is pretty much what this file does so when you finish with that one, we're gonna have to go and create and create a uh, directory called controllers. And then inside controllers, we're gonna add that roots.js. So this will be the code for the roots.js. Basically, what this code does is that the uh, roots.js file defines a post root for the server that for uh, for the server. So that listens for requests made to the generate image generate so this is a method that we're still going to create um so the generate image function is a is imported from the open ai controller which we just talked about now um and then what it does is that it is it's responsible for handling the logic for generating an image so so after we finish with that, we have to now go and file called OpenAI controller and add the following code. So here, this is the main code that is actually responsible for generating the image. So let's just walk over it and then... Um, so here, this is the function that generates an image using OpenAI. The function is defined as an async function that takes two arguments a request object and a and a response object so the function reads the text prompt so from the user and the size of the image to be generated from the request body 
and then calls the create image uh, method from OpenAI. The response from the API is stored in the response variable and the URL of the generated image is extracted from the response data. The function is then sends a JSON response to the client with the URL of the, of the generated image. So if an error occurs while generating an image, the function sends an error response to the client with an appropriate status code. So now that we have all our code going there, we can test locally on Postman. So we can just use uh, the local host that we that we defined. And if it works, the server should send us the correct uh, response, which is status and also the URL. For hosting, we are going to use render.com. It is a very simple tool that you can use to host service websites. Uh, and this, it also has a handy GitHub integration method. So, so you'll just need to set up an account with render.com and then create a new service. Shows Node.js template if you want to, but you can simply integrate with GitHub and it will detect it. And then after you finish that, you should have an endpoint. And then we're gonna use that endpoint on the React Native app. So let's go uh, to React Native now. So I won't set up React Native from scratch, but uh, from what you, sh you should know, like you can even go to your index.js, your, your app.js, and then there we're gonna add the following code. So here, what we're doing is that we have the normal React Native code whereby we are The new thing that we're gonna add here is just ending it, adding a fetch uh, URL. So we're just gonna fetch the image from render.com, uh, our server, and then it's gonna give us the response. And then that response, we're gonna chase on it and then take the, 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 the image URL from the result and then set that to to the hook that we created here, which is image URL, set image URL. So we're gonna set it there. And then this should grab that new image and then we're gonna just display it on the app. And then that's basically it. Uh, all the code is in the description, just in case you are looking for that. And also I have a longer live video as well whereby I, I talk about this. So if you didn't catch anything, you can look at that video cool if you like this content and you're looking for more content like this give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one testing testing am i still muted or should i just give up and go to sleep because wow 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 wow